Hello everybody and welcome back to 2v Tuesdays where math is not our strong suit. Radio voice. Foreign? <laughs> well, all you said was radio voice. You didn't say no. my name. Well, fuck. You can introduce yourself. You're a big boy now. Hi guys, it's Foreign. Radio voice. Radio voice. <laughs> hey, it's anyway, foreign. back at Here to bring you 2v yeah. Tuesdays. Alright, let's get into the topic here. So Microsoft has been announcing some fairly large things. Um... Uh, about things that are coming to the Xbox One and the Xbox 360, oddly enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, mainly, I think today, starting today is when this video is posted, maybe the day after, sometime soon, there's going to be a big update to the YouTube app that allows you to take your game clips out of the uh, built-in editing system and capture DVR on the Xbox One and upload your clips right to YouTube. Foreign, what do you think about that? Well, uh, we did discuss this in length beforehand, and I... I like the idea. I like the idea of being able to take your gameplay directly from your console and posting it online. But at the same time, it reminds me of back when we were playing Modern Warfare 3 and you could save your game clips and then you could go on to the website and you could basically download them or upload them directly to YouTube. And it, I just feel like it's going to dilute YouTube with just like bullshit 30 second clips. And it's going to be annoying. I mean, granted, like, I don't follow those channels, so it doesn't affect me. But, I mean, you remember all those, all the comments where you, people are like, come check out my videos, and you go, and it's like, clip, 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 video, clip, clip, clip. And it's like, why? That's not, like, it's not content that people want to see. And I, I don't think that it's going to help um, on the YouTube side. It's nice that you can do it, but... It's not quite the same. Yeah, I mean, it, think, it could be nice for someone that doesn't have a capture device. Yeah, that's what I was gonna that say. Wants, so they can, that they wants can put to it on YouTube edit. and then download them, and then yeah. you know, hopefully the quality carries over fairly well. That'd be cool. Um, all in all, though, I think it's a nice, it's a nice feature to have. It's it's something that I'd rather have than not have. You know, like, uh, and it may only get better. Maybe they'll do direct to YouTube live streaming, and it'll have really good quality. That <laughs> would. That would be something Shadow that I would suck. be more interested into, is seeing direct to YouTube live streaming, um, kind of like they have Twitch integration right now, or that they're working on because it's not. I've never tried it, but I've heard that it's really bad. Um, but that's also people's opinions. What the Twitch streaming? Yeah. I don't know. I think Stark has used it. It seems like he likes it. Uh, I think the streams I've look never, all right. It's you know. I think I've never used fun. it. I've never seen a stream that's done it. Um, something else that you talked that we mentioned with the whole YouTube update is that they're going to be adding the ability to take channels and put them into your um, like your favorites for like watching TV wasn't that yeah something, something like that you'll be able to one you'll guide? be able to post certain video like specific videos or specific channels to like your home page and then also add channels to your one guide so you can search through you know TV channels and then also YouTube channels in the same same like TV sort of a setting, which I think is a pretty, pretty cool thing. You know, the transition from web-based entertainment to being more like television-based entertainment. That's a good s stepping off point for that. But I'm not sure exactly how that's how that's gonna work, or if it's even gonna be like decent. Like it could suck. Like no one, no one could use it for all I know. Now, I have you used use have you used the one guide and like the live TV no, feature? No, I don't. With I don't watch Xbox TV. I don't have cable. <laughs> Well, I was just asking because, like, I I don't have a cable box near my Xbox, but when I got my Xbox, um, I had spent an entire weekend down in the living room with you know with my daughter and stuff like that, and uh, I actually I hooked it up to the cable box and I was watching you know NFL and I was watching you know checking my score like I wanted to experience everything with the Xbox One, so like I took I took some time to like actually experience it and I I thought it was really awesome and. To be able to add, like you said, to take the web media and bring it into like a, a living room aspect, you know, more of like a your media entertainment. Um, I think that's I, I think that's awesome. I think that that's the part of this update that really excites me. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's just cool. It's just, it, I like to see the transformation of media because right now this thing is so new, and if this thing stays on, you know, on my component stand here for another five years, what sort of things is it going to be doing then? You know. Uh, I think it'll be cool. I think you'd see a huge meshing of all the different mediums all coming together in one place, which is, you know, 
having one box that does everything is kind of cool, which is kind of their their whole idea with the whole thing. It's one place for entertainment. Um, they also talked about backwards compatibility and trying to bring an emulator through Azure, Azure, whatever the name of that fucking server setup is, or even having one directly on there. Their cloud servers. Um, if you did that, if, if they did that for him, what three games would you like to be able to pull up? Let's say they went all the way back to the first Xbox. So, like, pick three games from Xbox, Xbox, and Xbox 360 to have on the Xbox One. What would you pick? Um, I guess right now, if I could do backwards compatibility, um, I'd like to go back to Halo 2. Yeah, that's on um, my list, Halo 2. But that won't be necessary because they're talking about a Halo 2 Anniversary Edition coming out this year. Um, another option Wouldn't be the currently, same, another option would be, um, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, that's, that was the second one on my list. I'd like that, but they're talking about making because a new it, one of those two. Because it sucks that I, I gave my 360 to my brother and I, so I don't play it anymore. That. Um, I mean, I can get it back easily, but the thing is like, it sucks that that game came out and then the new console came out right away. So that's something that I would love to go back to. Um... And currently, I mean, one of the one of my highest played games before getting the Xbox One was Borderlands. I would love to be able to go back to the Borderlands series. We've got the exact same list, Foreign. <laughs> I know we're the same person, except you're tall and skinny, and I'm short and fat. <laughs> well, you're not that short. I'm pretty fat though. Thanks, yeah, thanks I mean, for I... like, re- thanks for like pointing out that I'm not that short, which is nice. But you should have said I'm not that fat. <laughs> that made me feel <laughs> way better about myself. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we're just about out of time here, Foreign, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let you say uh, goodbye to everybody, and then uh, then hugs and not drugs. Hugs, not drugs. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed our video. Um, be sure to go check out my channel, YouTube backslash... Or, uh, no, it's YouTube... It doesn't matter. It both works. The link's in the description. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later now.